What's up guys, CodeMonkey99 here with you today. We're going to be going over how to get you some amazing graphics in Minecraft for you. It's really easy, I'm using the TechIt platform, I highly recommend it. It already has Forge installed, it's got a nice, nice little order set up to where you can just access everything. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to go to Optifine.net, don't worry I'll put the description, I'll put the, the download link and everything in the description for you. So you don't got to worry about that, so we're going to go ahead and download Optifine here. And it will download really quickly, be pretty much instant. Then we're going to go over here, get our shaders, which will make it look amazing. We're getting Zeus 11. They finally came out with that, so shout out to them for that. So as you can see, we already got both downloaded. So let's go over here to our downloads folder. Uh, some don't have shortcuts, some do. So if you don't, you just go into your folders, go to your downloads folder, and it'll be there. Just look for the two things that you downloaded. So we got that, that's perfect. So we're gonna go over here to mod pack options or go into your Minecraft folder, whichever way you're doing it. Go into open if you're on tech it, then we're gonna go into our mods folder, which is great, it's fun. All right, we're gonna go ahead and minimize this so we can have more space. So, and then all you do is drag your optifine into here, really easy. Um, then we can go ahead and close our mods folder and we can go ahead and minimize that out of the way and we can go ahead and start up vanilla Minecraft. So, all we did was, you know, install one mod so far, which is great because you don't have to install a shaders mod anymore. Optifine takes care of that for you, which is big thumbs up for them. They're great. So, just loading up Minecraft through Forage. So, we're almost there. Almost there. Perfect. And as you can see, we got our options. We just go to video settings, and there's our, there's our glorious button. The shaders button should appear. And all you have to do is click that. I already have it in here, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and show you how to do it either way. So now you got your shader packs folder. So I'll go ahead and delete this. Uh, well, it already says it's uh, open, being used, but whatever. I'll go ahead and add the new one in either way. Easy enough. So all you do is drag it in. You don't have to unmount it, anything like that. Just keep that zip file there and you're good. So you can go ahead and close that and close that and as you can see the one that we just put in there with the one next to it is available so we click that we click done then you can go ahead and mess with all your graphics in the way that you want to I highly recommend going to performance and you know doing fast render on and stuff like that um, but shaders won't let you do that sadly <laughs> but if you could I would highly recommend it uh, I always loved whenever did that so as you can see, it's all on and going. So all we have now to do is go ahead and start it up. So we go to single player, we can go to Kaylee World, whatever that is. I don't know, I don't think I built anything in there. But we can go ahead and go there anyways. So as you can see, everything's already loaded up. Nice and beautiful, got an amazing sky going. Uh, I was working on a mansion build here it looks like. So let's go ahead and change the time. wrong way that's okay there we go so as you can see we got some amazing shadows rocking we can go ahead and get down see everything it's beautiful nice sun sunrise everything's looking really great and as always you can always put a resource pack on top of it which I highly recommend looks it makes it look way better I always use Sortex Sortex is one of my favorite it's always smooth and clean and just amazing I, I love it and for you guys that go on servers, the X-Ray Ultimate is amazing, helps you find all the diamond and stuff, and you will be the envy of your friends. So highly recommend getting that for servers. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it really changes the look of the game. You got nice, smooth, everything. Uh, the shadows help immensely. Um, as you can see, everything looks really nice now. And you can always change your graphics and shadow quality and brightness and just everything and just make it look fantastic. So as you can see, it's just amazing. I can't recommend it enough. Um, whenever you couple it with resource packs, it just makes it look that much better. And as you can see, we're doing fine on our FPS. We're doing 27. That's not bad. But once again, we are loading a lot. We got a lot of chunk loading. But once we get closer in and actually play like we were going to play, it's down all the way to... 33 which is a very playable frame rate a lot of people like 40 and stuff, but there's no lag as you can see um, Like I said, you can always change your graphics if your computer can't handle it video video settings has a lot of stuff for you to uh, do uh, <laughs> You can you can do all types of details to get everything working nicely. It's just whatever works for you um, Doing particles minimal helps a lot for a lot of stuff. So say we were doing 33 before and just moving that already moved it down to 
28, 34, 36. And as you can see, whenever we look at the animation of water, that really starts to bring it down some. But as I said, once again, you can always fix that in your video settings. You know, you can go to performance, uh, lazy chunk loading off. You can take that off, which is great. You can go to smooth world off. Uh, you you can do pretty much everything to get this working better if you want. Uh, changing the quality does a lot for you. Uh, just I, I run mine pretty pretty hard because I don't mind doing 30 frames per second. That might bother bother some of you, but for me not really. So we just turned off all those animations and now we're doing 27 looking at water and that's including all the reflections and shadows, which is amazing. But for normal play, I mean you're running 37 still. It's not bad. It's not bad. So I'd highly recommend it. Um, I love the way it looks. It looks amazing. And I, I, I just can't recommend this enough. I always recommend Sonic Ether's Zeus. It's always been great for me. And that's, that's all I got for you today. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit subscribe and like and share. And watch out for more videos from me. It's coming at you. Thank you for watching. A Code Monkey out.